Welcome back to the KB Show here in MLB 14, the show on the PS4. We had a fantastic opening Tops Amateur Showcase going two for four with a home run. And here we are in the field doing some work and looking like an idiot. So hopefully my outfield performance here <laughs> won't cost me when it comes to draft time. Because I really... For as many good plays as I make in the outfield, I make as many boneheaded plays. And I hopefully they will not look at me too negatively when it comes to my fielding. Obviously, that can be worked on. We can uh, we can get better in the outfield, and I think we will. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. Have you seen any of the PS3 videos? I make some dumb plays in the outfield. That one was... Not 100% my fault. Uh, I have it set to where it acts as one button. So uh, L2 or no R2 and R1 both are supposed to just be the same thing. Meaning um, it will decide whether or not it needs to, that my player needs to dive or jump up in the air for a ball. Um, so for whatever reason, it decided that I needed to dive there instead of jump. But here we are, another opportunity in the outfield. Will he make a play? He will not. He will not. <laughs> Over my head, off of the wall, not even able to pick that up. The uh, center fielder has to come all the way over to grab that ball. So another boneheaded play by my guy. That one probably an error. And uh, you can see up the top there, it says difficulty rookie plus with progression. Uh, I, and in hindsight, I think I should have started off on just all, on all-star difficulty, at least for the rookie showcase, and then after the rookie showcase, uh, move over to, or amateur showcase, I don't know why I keep calling it rookie showcase, amateur showcase, the top amateur showcase, I should have started off on all-star, um, I started off on dynamic difficulty, which is ultimately what I want to be on when um, you know I'm farther along in my career and MLB style and all that stuff. Um, however, it starts you off on rookie, and I'm taking advantage of it. But there, game number two, get another home run. Um, not much else that happened in that game. Hopefully, the two bonehead plays didn't make a uh, problem, but it doesn't look like it does. I'm still batting over 400 with two home runs, four RBIs, and still projected to be drafted in the first round, uh, or early rounds, I should say. Early rounds means first or second round. Mid rounds are third or fourth rounds, and late rounds are fifth and sixth rounds. Um, I don't know if you can get undrafted. Never tested that out, but I'm sure it's possible. Uh, but going back to dynamic difficulty, that ultimately that's what I want to play on because it just makes so much sense on so many levels, and I've talked about this in the past. Um, that's where I want to be. However, it starts you off on rookie, so you can really um, take advantage of that at the beginning of your career. And I probably should have waited to put it on dynamic after the rookie showcase, so that way... We can accurately judge what kind of player my guy is going to be and then uh, get drafted appropriately. Unfortunately, I didn't really think about that too much until after the fact. And, uh, hey, you know what? Might as well take advantage of it, and I do here. Hitting one off the wall in center field, getting a double and another RBI. So my uh, hot hitting has continued with this guy. This is the third game. Um, so we're going to finish up the first finish up the first game in episode number two we're finishing up games two and three in this episode next episode we will hit up the draft and my first double a game or if maybe we go back to college we will see uh, obviously if i get drafted in the first round i don't really care who is drafted by uh, i'm gonna go to that <laughs> i'm going you know you don't and once you're in the high draft high rounds there's no real reason to go back to college even if the team you like that uh, you get drafted by is not your favorite or they're not the best. Just get in the MLB, you know. Get in the show. Get in the game. Uh, that's where your career is going to start. Obviously, if you go back to college, you did really well in your Tops Amateur Showcase games. When you get drafted high, I mean, what else do you have to play for? If you go back to the Amateur Showcase, go back to college and do this again, what if you end up on a... Uh, 
you know, what if you don't have a very good three games and you end up going in the third round or something? Is that really worth just trying to find a different team to go on where it could affect your potential and stuff? I don't think it's worth it. So um, if you get drafted in the first or second round, just my suggestion is just stay with that team. And then uh, when you get a little farther in your career, then you can start really deciding where you want to play at. Um, I think the potential thing is so important to get moved up into the uh, higher leagues. So getting moved up from AA to AAA and then eventually from AAA to MLB. Your potential grade is so important to that. So if you get drafted in the first or second round, your potential is going to be pretty high to start off with. So... If you are wanting a fast track to get to the MLB, got to get drafted in the high rounds. I mean, it's just, it just has to happen. But uh, this guy, we put we didn't put a ton of points in the speed yet, but um, he's got enough to steal base here to here or there. Um, obviously, the poor throw above that guy's head helps tremendously for this guy, but uh, had a pretty decent jump, was able to uh, get out of the box pretty good, and or get out of the gate pretty good, and get over there to second base. Uh, I don't think he's going to be a gigantic, um, you know, base dealer. Like I don't think he's going to steal 30 or 40 bags a year. Um, but I'm looking to shoot for those uh, upper teen numbers as far as amount of stolen bases in a year. And uh, if this power continues, oh boy, watch out. Uh, I really have not put anything into power. I think my power for this guy is in the mid-30s. So it's not like he's got a ton of power. I think there's a couple things that come into play here. One, um, you're, you're in the amateur showcase. It's not the greatest pitchers in the world, so I'm taking advantage of some bad pitches. Uh, two, I'm on rookie right now because of the dynamics. I think that helps. Um... And three, I just been they've been throwing those pitches were like perfect for hitting home runs, and my home runs have just barely been clearing the wall. 382 feet. I mean that's a pretty, pretty substantial number, but it's not like ridiculous, like 450 or some crap. Um, so I think I will end up getting some home runs here and there, but I don't think I'm gonna be a huge power guy. Um, this guy's gonna be mostly a singles slash doubles guy. Trying to hit to the gap, trying to get on base. Um, that that's really what my goal is going to be. I'm not going to be putting very many points into uh, into power. But uh, that was up games number two and three. We have the draft next. Who do you think I'm going to go to? Leave a comment below, and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace.